Yo. What's up, bro? <laughs> Wait, what? You saw my wife at the club, huh? Well, first of all, she's my fiance, not my wife, but shit, still, it's pretty much damn near the same thing, pretty much, right? Nah, ain't no way, bro. I, I, you know I fucks with you, bro, but I dead don't believe you. You saw my wife at the club? Doing what? Dancing? Dancing on what? Bro, I don't care if she was dancing on a girl, guy, I don't care if she was dancing on the damn statue. Or maybe the statue would've been okay, maybe. But I don't care, bro. She's at the club. My wife is at the club. Ain't no way, bro. Let me call her. Thank you, though. Let me call her. Hey. Hmm. No answer, huh? All right. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Let me call. Okay. Yeah, Rosenberg. Yeah, um, we gotta set something up, man. I need a divorce. I can't do this shit no more. Can't do this shit no more. This is unacceptable. All right, bro. Send the papers over, okay? Thank you. Yeah, it, it is that serious, though. Let's get into the context. Talk about the beer, smoke his ass, nigga. Talk love. Nigga, talk about the beer, smoke his ass, nigga. Talk love. Now let's be facts. Okay, well, on the surface, right? On the surface, that seems all harmless. That seems like, you know, just harmless girl fun. You know, it, that's what that seems like, right? But it's not. And I, I have to address this shit. It's kind of controversial depending on, you know, the circle you're in. This could be a little bit controversial, but I have to discuss this shit because I feel like there's a disconnect. <laughs> there's a disconnect between people and... It has to be said. It has to be said. I don't care what people want to say about this. Mostly women who's going to be upset by this. But it has to be said because it's like something is not. Y'all not understanding this shit. Okay. L let me let me get into it. Listen to me now. Women. Y'all can enjoy yourself all y'all want. Okay. No man. Like if you're with a man who's going to say don't enjoy yourself. Oh, that That's controlling right there. If you're, going, if you're going to be with a man that say, you know, you can't even enjoy yourself at all, stay in the house no matter what, that's different. That's an outlier, too. That's an outlier. We're not talking about that. But if that's your idea of fun to be going to, first of all, to be going to a club in general, if that's the idea of fun, I mean, come on, that's a that's a tick on the, on the, on the, the red flag checklist. <laughs> that's a tick right there, right? But if, yeah, seriously, if that's your idea of fun, trust and believe and trust and believe me when I say this. I have to emphasize this, this point for y'all to understand this shit, okay? Trust and believe. If your idea of fun is to go through thought looking shit, that's what, from the outside looking in, that look like some thought shit. That look like, you know, make the sound video, the, the, the hot shit, my, my girl, my hot shit. That's what that looks like. That don't look like no behavior from a wife. It don't look like, no, it don't look like no behavior from a wife, okay? I, I have to emphasize that point because you got to think about it like this, okay? For the women who may not understand, if a guy has two options, right? One girl, her, her idea of fun is to do that shit at the club, right? And another girl's idea of fun is to, you know, watch a reality show or some shit like that or like mountain climbing or rock climbing or some shit like that. Guess who that guy is going to pick nine times out of ten? And for those who, who don't know, that guy is going to pick that girl who idea of fun is not to be going dancing in a fucking club. And women in the comment section were trying to rationalize like, oh, what man would be upset that his woman is dancing on another woman? That's not the freaking point. That's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point. Okay? That is not the point. Because trust and believe. Trust and believe you me. More likely than not, that guy is going to feel a way no matter who the hell you're dancing on. No matter who you're dancing on. And guess what, too? 
Guess what, too? Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, Lil Durk was dancing with another guy. Let's just say. That's a real... I, I just want to paint the picture for y'all. India would be upset by that. She would not be okay with that shit. So why is it that y'all women try to force us men to be okay with our girl dancing with another girl? Like, <laughs> make it make sense, please. At, but in all seriousness, though, I want an explanation about that. Because why is it okay that just because she danced with another girl, like, that's acceptable and we should accept that? You know what I'm saying? And this is another thing for women whom y'all may not understand. Someone like a little dirt, right? Little dirt, right? He's a high, you know, profile individual. If he's around other high profile individuals and they know that, let's just say India's uh, his wife, they're gonna bring that up like, yo, bro, ain't that your wife in the club? What the hell? <laughs> that's the, the that's the narrative, and that's gonna be the conversation. That's the conversation that happens among men. Like, bro, ain't that your wife? Why the hell your wife in the club? That's gonna be the conversation. No, so. Like I say, y'all could go have fun. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and have fun. But when y'all in your 20s and y'all engaged to a guy and you wonder why you're still engaged with no wedding and nothing like that, it's shit like that. If India and Lil Durk don't get married, it's going to be because of things like this. Remember in the video with, um, when Lil Durk was talking about the body count thing and he was like, um, like he could wake up and be mad about something that happened 10 years ago? You think he's going to see his girl dancing in the club and not be mad about that? <laughs> Seriously though, think about it. And y'all want to rationalize it. It's okay. Like I said, go have fun. I'm not, they're not going to stop you from doing that shit. But just know, just know, and I got to emphasize this one more time. Just know that. That man that proposed to you and you still waiting for the wedding is it's little shit like this. Cause another thing too, are you gonna stop going to the club and stop partying once you're married? You know what I'm saying? A lot of the women won't. So why the hell would I want my wife in a fucking club? Like that makes no sense. It makes no sense. And even if she's doing it for the money, even if she's getting paid for that shit, I do not want, would not want my wife in no club. That is, I don't, I don't see the, I don't understand. I don't see the correlation. Of course, there's going to be women who's like, oh, but she's just enjoying herself. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, controlling and blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and control, uh, enjoy yourself. But just know when you're not married <laughs> and when you're 20, late 20s and early 30s and shit, still doing that, that's exactly why. Because uh, I just want to paint the picture for y'all. If a guy is going to a club, nine times out of 10, he's going to think all the women in there are single or all the women in there is looking for something or they're just doing whatever, you know, hot girl shit. You know what I'm saying? But how much of those women in there are married? How much of those women in there you think is gonna get married? And how much of those women you think who, you know, may get married is gonna stop going to the club when they're married? Cause why the hell would they stop? What about that ring is gonna make you wanna stop? And nine times out of 10, they're not gonna stop going to the club once they get married. But you gotta think about it, bro. No man, no man wants his wife in the damn club. I don't care if she's dancing with a girl. That's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. So when y'all, Engaged and y'all not married for three plus years, it'd be little things like that. Y'all gotta understand that. Sorry if I offended y'all, but y'all gotta notice these things about men. We hold y'all to such a high standard. Like, this is my wife right here. Like, this is my model wife. Like, this is the, the woman I'm so proud to say is my wife. And then Saturday, she's in a club shaking her ass. <laughs> like, for what? Make it make sense, please. And let me know what y'all think. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I really just wanted to get my thoughts on this. Thoughts out on this, man. I don't understand how y'all be rationalizing this type of behavior. Let me know what y'all think. Comments, please. Comments. <laughs> comments. I want, I want women, I want y'all to really comment about this. Then listen to what I said, please. And then comment, okay? Thank you. And click the link in my description. <laughs> Book a conversation with me. Let's talk about this some more. You could, we can argue about it. I don't. I don't mind that. But just know, this is how a lot of men feel. Okay.
Thank you. A more videos coming soon, man. Ah! <laughs>